Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. It's your girl, Janelle B. Stewart, your friend in your head, and I'm coming to you with a match my foundation video. So, um, I got this really beautiful box from Becca Cosmetics, and I was really happy because it's their new foundation. Um, this is the foundation from Becca that I've been wearing for over a year. I did a video in the beginning of the year, maybe like March, maybe, showing you all um, how I wear this Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream by Becca. My color is Sandalwood. So I've been wearing this foundation and it's been my favorite. Um, you know, my other favorite is the CoverGirl Rich Mink. It's from the All Day Flawless Collection and this is um, a drugstore product. So if you can't afford, you know, something like Becca, which is more high-end, it's at Sephora, then if you want to know my other favorite, you can totally check out this one. So like I was saying, I was really excited. I was really excited when I got this because I really like the Ultimate Complexion Coverage um, Foundation. So I was happy to get this because I was like, I love the other one. Maybe I like this one. So this is the new Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. And it comes in eight shades, um, with four of them, I would say, being maybe for black women, or maybe three of them. So it's kind of like 50-50. That's pretty nice. And they also gave me this buffer brush to use. And okay. So based on the shade ranges, I think that I would probably be deep bronze and dark golden. I'm actually going to try both of them just to see you know which one works best so I'm looking at the two and the dark golden is looking like it's really not gonna be a good match I don't know I know my camera and my lighting is a little bit high so it might be a little hard to see like I mean, how does that look maybe a little bit hard to see but dark golden looks like this is just this is not my color, so part of me doesn't even want to even try it. So let's just start with Deep Bronze because um, Deep Bronze is the darkest shade that I have. All right, so twist the cap until it pops. Push the button down completely to low dropper, okay. Twist the cap off, pull out the dropper. Push the button to dispense foundation. Okay, so it's like the dropper. That's very unique. So I always put my makeup on the top of my lip sugar. Um, what is this? It's like a sugar lip polish, and I like the top because it's metal, so it doesn't really stain. Okay, so let's take this. And uh, I'll start with just my finger, just to see what the color is looking like. And let's buff this. Okay. So the buffer brush, it does apply the product really nicely, but it is coming off on me. Not sure if you can see, but I have one, two, three, four, five, and I have some on my face. You might not be able to see it. So there's a, there's a little bit of shed with that. Um, let me think. So deep bronze, how am I feeling? Um, I think it might need a little bit of time to settle, but I feel like it's, it's not the best match for me. I think the real test is a selfie. Let me see what this looks like in a selfie. Okay, so actually in the selfie, I think it looks a lot better than what is happening on camera. I think it's like settling a little bit better so it's starting to look a little bit nicer okay, I'm, I'm starting to feel it so let me do my makeup and I will come back 
and show you the finished result. So I'm back with the finished look and I would say like in terms of like the, com the, the actual foundation like matching my skin tone, I would say it's not exactly 100% perfect. I'm going to turn down the internal lighting on my camera so you can have a better view of what this actually looks like because I feel like it still is coming across as a little bit bright. Um, and I have a glow, like I have a real go glow. I did do concealer under my eyes. I have concealer on my forehead and on my chin and down the bridge of my nose. So these areas intentionally are supposed to be brighter. But I feel like areas that I should be looking at that are not supposed to be brighter are still brighter. So let me turn down the internal lighting on my camera. Wrong way. So if I did not have my studio light, so this is what you, you know, the highest it could possibly be. That's just ridiculous. And, um, this is like a little bit lower than where we were when we started and this is a little even lower so this is not the type of lighting i would want to film in because obviously this is just too dark of a picture for me to want to put out on a youtube channel however i think you can see a little bit better now that the color is not as harsh looking as it did before and this is kind of like the color that I see when I'm looking in the mirror because my mirror it doesn't have the same effect as an HD camera and you know I have like three lights on me right now so this is what I'm seeing and I think that if you look at it like this you probably will agree this does match very well um, however when I put my camera back at the setting that I like to film oh wrong light too dark at the setting that I like to film at which is like here and sometimes even here so I'm like crystal clear I feel like this just doesn't look like the best match right you would agree but you got to see it in a more normal lighting setting like this and tell me what you think And if you're wondering about my hair, I'm wearing um, a U-part wig extension from Big Chop Hair. I love this hair. It's given me so much life. People keep thinking, whenever I post a picture on Instagram, people are thinking like my hair grew because I've been wearing my flat twisted crown for like the entire summer. So people haven't really seen my twist out. And they're like, whoa, your hair grew. That protective styling is good. And honestly, no, it's Big Chop Hair. So I, I don't lie though. I don't pretend that it's my hair. I let people know. So if you want a U-part wig like this, this is a U-part wig, you can totally get one. I have a link in the description box and a coupon code so you can save $10. And um, now I'm going to put my lighting back up because I like to see my lighting like this. Like this. I like this. Yeah. So let me know if you would try the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. My color is deep bronze and of course deep bronze is the last color that they have so if your skin tone is even more deeper rich ebony than mine then you probably wouldn't be able to find anything um, to work for you from this collection um, right now as I'm wearing it it's feeling um, it, it looks like it gives a high coverage but I did put a color over top of it I have a powder foundation on top of it so the coverage is not as bright so the coverage is, is um, in terms of like coverage I would say the coverage was more light to medium it was not a heavy coverage I have a beat face right now because I did a lot more than just put this foundation on but if you're just gonna wear just this foundation and then put on some mascara some lip gloss and you're gonna keep it moving your coverage is gonna be light to medium and you can, I can see that it would be buildable it feels comfortable it does feel lightweight it does give a glow I noticed that immediately like the foundation gives a glow so your natural glow plus the foundation glow and if you do any highlighting on your face you're just gonna literally beam out like you can see the areas on my face where I actually used highlighter they're like just magical like I feel like my skin is like illuminating um, well it's called luminous right so it, it's living up to that um, yeah, and that's my review of it. I think it's a great product. I would also say, too, I'm not exactly excited about the whole dripper thing. Like, it's cute that you can, like, pop it up and squeeze it in and then take this off. But the taking off, I feel like it's just a little bit more than I care for. But it's not bad. It's kind of cute. I like it. I think I just have to get used to it. Because right now, I'm so used to popping the top off and then pumping right onto my thing. So now I don't only have to just pop the top off and pump, there's a couple extra steps. Not a big deal, it's not, but it's just, I'm just telling you what I think, like my real thoughts, I'm just telling you about that. It just is a little bit more than 
you know, I'm used to doing, so they're asking me to do a little bit more work. Okay, I get it. Maybe you should, maybe it shouldn't be so expensive. <laughs> $44 for a foundation for someone like me who wears foundation all the time and really wants to look as, um, wants my skin to look as uniform and as flawless as possible because of my work. You know, I'm constantly on camera. I'm always taking photos. And you know, that type of, that type of, found, this type of foundation is something that I wanna invest in because I want my skin to look snatched all the time. Now, if you're the type of woman who's wearing foundation just a couple times a week, if that, or maybe you only wear it to special occasions like a wedding or to church, um, like a wedding or to a formal function, which is where how my mom wears foundation and my family and even me before I started the job that I'm doing now, I only wore it to special occasions and I would not tell you to get a foundation that is $44. I wouldn't. I just don't think it makes sense. However, if when you do wear the foundation um, to those formal events, you want to look super elegant. You want your face to be snatched and be, and you want people to be like, oh my goodness, you're glowing. Then even if you are the type of person who doesn't really wear foundation, I would say for this, invest in it. Get the get the foundation. Your $44 probably wouldn't even use the bottle up within a year, so you'd have it for a very long time and you would you're gonna love your results every time you use it. So that's just my opinion. Um, let me know what your thoughts are, what you think. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments or concerns or video requests, leave it in the comment section. And please subscribe to my channel. And as always, I love you for watching. Bye.